You know, people always tell me that I have the best job in the world. That's because I get to travel all around the Tampa Bay area to meet the coolest people and check out the hottest places while living it up and never settling on anything less than the best in life. Yeah, the good life. So get ready to join me on another journey around the Bay Area to learn where you can experience VIP treatment all right here on Good Life Tampa Bay. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of Good Life Tampa Bay, the show everybody around town is talking about. Our mission here is real simple. We bring you the people, places, and events that make exciting things happen here in the Bay Area. I'm your host, H. John Mejia, and in our first segment, let's take a look at the launch party of an exciting new charity. All right, we're here in St. Petersburg at the beautiful Courtside Grill, which is owned by former NBA player Matt Geiger. Tonight it's all about a new charity making a difference in people's lives. So let me introduce you to Julie Weintraub's Hands Across the Bay. Local Tampa Bay personality, Julie Weintraub from the Golden Diamond Source has just launched her nonprofit Hands Across the Bay charity. Her mission and efforts are dedicated to improve the quality of life in the Tampa Bay area for individuals, programs, and organizations that need help. Let me tell you, Julie and her husband Steve are always giving back to the Tampa Bay community. People kept saying we should do an organization to support what we do, and we finally have just done that. And it's called Hands Across the Bay, because we work in Hillsborough County, Pinellas County, doing, supporting various different charities. And this way, I have more accountability. I can see where my work is going, where the money's going. And I work with all kinds of different foundations and organizations, uh, from cancer causes to kids' causes to something like Audrey's. When Julie throws a party, charity event, you can count on the rain coming, but they still show up and they come in droves because uh, what she does is great stuff. It really is. And, uh, you know, I'm very proud of her. Tonight's celebrity bartending fundraiser is Julie's first event. And it's all about supporting 26 year old Audrey Mabry, who was a victim in a horrific domestic violence crime when her estranged husband struck her in the head with a hammer, doused her in kerosene and set her on fire. With burns to over 80% of her body, that ugly day in November has obviously changed Audrey's life forever. Julie and Steve Weintraub both feel compelled to take up Audrey's cause. She had no car, no place to live, no money, and I thought, as a mother, having to deal with the severe burns she has, explaining that to your children and having that is just wrong. So we thought we'll put an event together. We donated our minivan that we've been thinking about donating anyway to her. We got a big red bow on it. We're giving her tonight. And we're going to raise some money. We have a PayPal account. So if people didn't make it out, they can go to handsacrossthebay.org and they can make a donation for her. So we're trying to just get her not to have to worry about the basic necessities in life and focus on her recovery. Audrey coming out and, and, and being here tonight with all of us is such an inspiration. And what a brave woman. And uh, we're just so happy that we could be here and help her in some way. Julie's good friend, Fox reality TV star, Mary Murphy, who recently disclosed she herself was a victim of domestic violence at the hands of her ex-husband for nine years, made the trip from LA to support the benefit to help Audrey. You know, Julie's a good friend of mine. She asked me if I would go to this link and watch the, you know, read about her story. And as soon as I finished, I called her up and I said, I'll, I'll try to do whatever I can to make it there. I'm not making any promises yet. I called her a few days ago as soon as I got in and I said, I'm coming, can you pick me up? I think all women that have been in that position are, you know, we fear what happened to Audrey. And I've had nightmares ever since I've heard her story and thinking and reflecting on my own experience. And, uh, you know, I don't know if I could have the same courage. She's an amazing young woman. Former NBA player Matt Geiger was proud to host this touching and emotional event at his beautiful courtside grill restaurant. It, you know, it's kind of like a, an emotional night because at the same time, we're having fun. And it's a bar and it's an atmosphere. But I've had three or four women come up to me tonight and almost start opening up because they came out tonight telling their friends, man, I've been through something. And uh, so I feel like there's people who have almost had, like the healing has started from a night like tonight. I hope this 
sparks a lot for a lot of people that might never have come out before because it's getting publicity. I love everything Julie's doing and whatever my son can do and I can do, and my husband, we love it. I mean, we're all about charity affairs. We had a chance to interview many of Tampa Bay's local personalities who came out to support the event and Audrey. Men that hurt women, I don't think have, would have the, I can't say the word, but the guts to hit a man or hurt a man. So, um, and the fact that she has children that she can't hug. What else, when Julie asked me, what else could I do, really? Every cause is a good cause you want to be a part of. And, and for somebody that goes through domestic violence, that's really important that you don't do anything even remotely close to that. It doesn't have to come to that. It's senseless, and, um, and so I'm here just to support her because of that. I had her on my radio show the other day, and she has a lot of strength. And uh, it's, if you don't, if this cause, you don't feel it, then you don't have anything inside because I couldn't imagine anybody in my family going through it. Uh, you can see she's going through a tough time. So we're just here to try to, you know, raise some money for a good cause. You know, when Julie Weintraub asks you to do something, can you help out? Boy, it's awfully hard to say no. Through hurricane, rain, weather, doesn't matter. We'll, we'll show up regardless. That's right. I even came across a bridge called the Howard Franklin. I drove from one end to the other to get down here for Julie. Yeah, I know. That's the way I do it. She's She's got this exuberant, loving, kind nature that everybody pulls into, as well as, you know, she's very smart. She networks to help everybody. Now, the emotional part of this evening for me came when I had a chance to interview Audrey herself. This amazing woman and the mother of two little kids was really touched by the outpour of love. For obvious reasons, my interview with her was off camera. It means the world to me. You know what it does to me? That there's still good people in this country that care about others and that we should all rally around each other to take care of one another when, when someone is in need. I've always had the same spirit and I believe that fighting to um, stay strong and to make it through is very important. I've always been a strong woman and I would never give up regardless of what it was that happened to me. Audrey's stepmom and sister who also attended the event gave me a deeper insight to how special and courageous Audrey is. Words cannot explain it. It's a wonderful thing that everybody has shown their support for her and her family. She wants to live. She wants to have a life. She wants a family. And most, most importantly, she wants to be happy. And she's got two beautiful boys that um, she has. She's just a very strong person. Wow, what an emotional and incredible evening tonight was. As you can see, Hands Across the Bay has the support of so many to help make a difference in people's lives. For more information on how you can help Audrey, please go to www.supportaudrey.com. That's www.supportaudrey.com. And for more information on Julie's charity, please go to www.handsacrossthebay.org. That's www.handsacrossthebay.org. Good Life Tampa Bay, check it out. It couldn't hurt. Hi, I'm Nancy Alexander, and it's a good life, Tampa Bay. My name is Kay Geiger, and I love watching Good Life Tampa Bay. My name is Maria McGill, and I love watching Good Life Tampa Bay. Hi, I'm Julie Weintraub. And I'm Steve Weintraub. And, and we, we love, love watching, watching Good, good life, life Tampa, Tampa Bay. Bay. Hey, don't go anywhere, because we'll see you on the other side of this commercial break. People from all over Tampa Bay come to the Golden Diamond stores because we really do pay three to five times more than the national gold buying companies. And we keep proving it by mailing in our own gold. This graphic shows what they sent us a check for and what Golden Diamond Source actually pays. A jeweler I've gone to for years offered me $150. The Golden Diamond Source paid me $480. We also buy diamonds, Rolex watches, coins, and designer pieces. If you need cash now, come to the Golden Diamond Source. Or visit GoldenDiamondSource.com for our free gold buying kit. Hey, do you want to go on a cruise? Well, visit us online at www.GoodLifeTampaBay.com. That's www.GoodLifeTampaBay.com and register to win. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. Also, the Home Theater Gallery. Check out their website at hometheatergallery.com. Hey, welcome back to Good Life Tampa Bay as we get ready to check out some exciting things going on here in downtown St. Petersburg. All right, we're in beautiful downtown St. Petersburg at the world-famous Dolly Museum, where lots of exciting things are happening. Let me show you why. 
Born in Spain in 1904, as an artist, Salvador Dali was not limited to a particular style or media. The body of his work reveals a constantly growing and evolving artist. Dali worked in all media, leaving behind a wealth of oils, watercolors, drawings, graphics, sculptures, films, and objects of all descriptions. Just as important, his legacy will always challenge all of us to explore all aspects of one's own life and to give them artistic expression. The Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, which opened in 1982, has drawn tens of thousands of visitors and has so much history behind it. My dad, along with Jim Martin, young Jim Martin, Jim Healy, and Jack Lake, three Jims and a Jack, were the earliest backers of the whole idea that a Dali Museum would be a great asset to the community. And that, in 1980, Jim Martin read an article in the Wall Street Journal that indicated the Morris family from Cleveland, Ohio, had a nice collection of Dali that they were ready to give to another museum. And it, they, no one would take it. So Jim Martin, a recent graduate of Leadership St. Petersburg, thought it would be an excellent addition to the economic engine of this community, and he was right. Come January 11th, 2011, there'll be a new Dali Museum just a few blocks away. Well, we're building a new museum because this current one is very vulnerable to hurricanes and we wanted to protect this most valuable collection of art. The new museum will serve the, the Dali Museum itself in the sense of being more hospitable to visitors. In terms of its impact on our community, there'll be uh, maybe another 100,000 or 200,000 people coming to the Dali each year, which translates into a major economic impact on this community. Building the new $35 million museum has taken the support of many community leaders. In addition, there is a very active committee comprised of prominent local volunteers that have taken up passionate support for this exciting project. We are Tampa Bay International. We are a women's social organization. The Dali Museum approached us they needed some help. They're opening their new museum, 1111, very Dali-esque. We just had a very successful uh, fundraiser here a couple weeks ago, and uh, we raised quite a bit of money. Uh, so we continue to raise money for the new museum because they're still a little bit short. Our members are so fantastic, I wouldn't miss this for the world. Oh, I think it's wonderful. We have wonderful women in our group, and I think we're really doing something that makes a difference. Meeting these ladies and becoming part of the group, I just felt like I was right at home. It was a wonderful experience. And I, I am so over the top about this museum and this these paintings moving into the a place that they will look truly beautiful. It's going to really be uh, a, the biggest asset to the area. I mean, it, they claim Paris has the Eiffel Tower, Sydney has the Opera House, well St. Petersburg will have the Dali Museum. The Dali, when they said they needed some help, we said what better cause is there and why not? Construction on the new Dali Museum is well underway. We had a chance to visit the building site for a tour. Yep, hard hat and all. H. This glass enigma is an incredible feature of the new museum. The architect Jan Weymouth, who also worked on the Louvre with a very famous architect, I.M. Pei, designed this to be a flowing structure that kind of oozes forth from the top of the building and snakes around the side. It's built to withstand a Category 3 hurricane. It's a fabulous, amazing piece of architecture that I think is going to be an icon in St. Petersburg. During our visit, we had a chance to catch up with a very popular Dolly lookalike. I've loved Dolly since I was a child. I've, he's been one of my favorites ever since I was a child. This man has such a vivid imagination and he just inspires you to think beyond the real, beyond the actual. You know, there's so much possibility out there that you just have to try and evolve bigger than you actually are. They call me all the time and I have no problems coming on down and just entertaining and, and being part of this fabulous building that's going up. You know, there's so many exciting things happening here in the Bay Area, but on top of the list will be the new Dali Museum. For more information, be sure to check out their website at www.salvadordalimuseum.org. That's www.salvadordalimuseum.org. Hey, this is Mike Strand from the Home Theater Gallery, and we love watching Good Life Tampa Bay with H. Hey, don't go anywhere, because we'll see you on the other side of this commercial break. People from all over Tampa Bay come to the Golden Diamond stores because we really do pay three to five times more than the national gold buying companies. And we keep proving it by mailing in our own gold. 
This graphic shows what they sent us a check for and what Golden Diamond Source actually pays. A jeweler I've gone to for years offered me $150. The Golden Diamond Source paid me $480. We also buy diamonds, Rolex watches, coins, and designer pieces. If you need cash now, come to the Golden Diamond Source. Or visit GoldenDiamondSource.com for a free gold buying kit. Hey, do you want to go on a cruise? Well, visit us online at www.GoodLifeTampaBay.com. That's www.GoodLifeTampaBay.com and register to win. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. Also, the Home Theater Gallery. Check out their website at hometheatergallery.com. Hey, welcome back to Good Life Tampa Bay as we take a look at what former local news anchor Gail Guayardo is up to. After 17 years as a local NBC news anchor, the very popular and beautiful Gail Gallardo has ventured off with infomercial king Kevin Harrington to launch a new show called Access Gale. Wait till you check this out. Access Gale is a five minute hybrid lifestyle segment that will rely on Gale to inform, demonstrate, and entertain viewers. Gale will introduce the latest in green, medical, health, wellness, and home products that make our lives easier. Yes, after anchoring the top rated morning newscast here in Tampa Bay, Gail was ready for a change and a new challenge. I was like literally pinching myself on the way into work. I couldn't believe it. And had it not been for this, I mean, almost pot of gold or light at the end of the tunnel, it would have been very melancholy to walk away. It would have been so hard to leave such a great job. But this is like, again, wind beneath my wings. We're going to soar to new heights. So I just couldn't be more excited. I mean, genuinely excited. Oh, she can sleep in Monday. Okay, okay. she can sleep in Monday. Monday. Okay, yeah, <laughs> 6 a.m. <laughs> Now, the other part of this winning combination is infomercial pioneer Kevin Harrington, who has developed over 500 product launches and infomercials that have resulted in sales of more than $4 billion, with 20 products reaching individual sales of over $100 million each. He has helped create dozens of millionaires. Kevin is currently a shark on the Sony television Mark Burnett production of Shark Tank, which runs during prime time on the ABC network. The show provides a forum for entrepreneurs to pitch their products in the hopes of receiving funding from one of the featured investor sharks. Kevin's involvement with Shark Tank has generated a number of product marketing opportunities that can be launched through Access Gale and provide inventors a complete one-stop shop to market. When we thought about Gale coming into our world, instantly my mind said, news commercial, okay? Because here's someone for 17 years that's been doing news, and now she's gonna be helping bring these products out into the marketplace in a commercial fashion. So there is the blending of those two worlds. I just think it's gonna be so cool to blend our strengths. And it, I think it's gonna be a real compliment to one another because he's just amazing and brilliant with his ideas. And I hope that I can bring the integrity and you know the rock as far as always being such a workhorse to help him implement everything. It just, if he comes up with an idea, I wanna be there to help him implement it. To round out this winning team, Wendy Latoria will serve as executive producer. Wendy has extensive experience in marketing and sales, specifically in direct response marketing. She has worked with Tony Little, managed several projects for Kevin Harrington, and created her own line of women's fitness products that successfully sold on infomercials and on the Home Shopping Network. It's time for a change. I think the infomercial world of the old, you know, non-stop, hit you in the face stuff has changed and people just click through the channels. You know, so I think with Gail, it brings a new format, and especially being in the news commercial because it gives credibility. In fact, it was Wendy who had the vision to connect Kevin and Gail together. Well, what most people don't know, it was actually, I put the two of them together one year ago Sunday. It was February 28th of last year. Wendy is there making you believe she's there if you call her at 6 in the morning. She's there if you call her at midnight. She's just always there. And, you know, when I walked in and T's were crossed and I's were dotted, I just went, Wendy. I call her Mama Bear, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was only a few hours after Gail's final morning news telecast that she hosted this coming out launch party celebrating the introduction of Access Gail and her new venture. Of course, it was a who's who of Tampa Bay that were there to support Gail. Of course, this is a very private list of invitations because of the type of you know situation we have here, having the uh, local celebrities and um, you know Gail and Kevin from Shark Tank. I'm working with some of the most amazing minds in marketing here in the United States. It's a bittersweet thing. We hate to not see her every morning on Channel 8. We all love that, but 
she's going to do phenomenal. I mean, what she's doing now is what she's always kind of done along, and people love to tune in to see what she's got going on and what products she's telling us about. So it's going to be great. I'm excited to see the new show. She's been around here for a long time, and so people have seen her probably grow up right before their eyes, and so they have a very special feeling, you know, about people like that. And, you know, she's always been fun to be around, always been fun to watch on television, and all that stuff comes through. I'm really happy for her because she really has worked hard to build her name and to build her reputation, and it's going to be wonderful. She's the perfect person for the show, absolutely perfect. You know what? It's brilliant. The whole concept of Gail Access is absolutely brilliant. It's a new format, the news commercial concept. Gail has an incredible track record in the local markets here, and I think the concept has just incredible potential to roll out nationally, and we should say internationally in Canada, too. I start bright and early Monday morning, and we actually have our first shoot. 10 hour shoot that we're going to be doing Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. The five minute block at the end of the hour is when these, these shows are going to launch. So uh, we're, we're, we're not just doing this locally. We start locally and then they're going to roll out all around the country and then national cable also. As you can see, Kevin Harrington and Gail Gallardo have created an incredible buzz with Access Scale. Make sure you tune in. Access Gale will air on ABC WFTS Channel 28 on Saturdays at 9.55 a.m. and on Sundays at 8.53 a.m. For more information, be sure to check out Gale's website at www.accessgale.com. That's www.accessgale.com. Good Life Tampa Bay. Yeah, we love Good Life Tampa Bay. You're a great show. We watch it on Saturdays. Amazing. I mean, if we don't get out and get to every event, you can watch Good Life Tampa Bay and experience everything that's going on around town. Hey, don't go anywhere because we'll see you on the other side of this commercial break. People from all over Tampa Bay come to the Golden Diamond stores because we really do pay three to five times more than the national gold buying companies. And we keep proving it by mailing in our own gold. This graphic shows what they sent us a check for and what Golden Diamond Source actually pays. A jeweler I've gone to for years offered me $150. The Golden Diamond Source paid me $480. We also buy diamonds, Rolex watches, coins, and designer pieces. If you need cash now, come to the Golden Diamond Source. Or visit GoldenDiamondSource.com for a free gold buying kit. Hey, do you want to go on a cruise? Well, visit us online at www.GoodLifeTampaBay.com. That's www.GoodLifeTampaBay.com and register to win. Good Life Tampa Bay is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. Be sure to check out their website at goldendiamondsource.com. Also, the Home Theater Gallery. Check out their website at hometheatergallery.com. Welcome back to Good Life Tampa Bay as we get ready to have some fun with some local bachelors and bachelorettes. All right, check it out. We're at International Plaza at Brio Tuscan Grill for the Connect Working Bachelor Bachelorette Auction. Wait till you check this out. This charity event that benefited the Humane Society saw 10 willing bachelors and 10 pretty bachelorettes being auctioned off for a fantastic date package, all to benefit a great cause. Everyone has been so good to pitch in. We have Julie Weintraub with the Golden Diamond Source. We have Matt Geiger and his family here tonight. We have hundreds of solid auction items and date package items. It's going to be great. Many of Tampa Bay's local celebrities came out to lend their name in support of the event. She's just been cool and gotten to know my mom pretty well. They emailed each other back and forth and she said she was doing this for this uh, Humane Society. It seemed like a good cause and uh, so we decided to come out and support her and support the cause. Oh, this is going to be awesome and the Humane Society is near and dear to my heart. I actually brought, these are two of dogs I, when I used to volunteer for the Humane Society that I adopted 16 years ago. So this is my little Benny and Johnson from the Humane Society. I love their company and it's an amazing charity. So I'm happy to be here and all kinds of beautiful men and women. It's gonna be awesome. Well, it's a wonderful charity. You know, this is where the community comes together and I believe in all the organizations and uh, people in the community should support our local charities to make sure that we invest enough in our backyard to take care of our own. Hey, I got two guys tonight. This is great, I love it. So if I wasn't here tonight, you know, it'd be the normal bidding, boring process. Well, that's great. Tammy's very generous, obviously, and uh, she's an inventor herself with her whips, and uh, as am I with my ties. So uh, look forward. Yeah, we're talking about that too. I have some ideas for you. See, it's it's all for business. You know, we're gonna go on a little date, and then we're gonna really talk business. That's the whole thing. The vivacious and beautiful Meredith from the MJ Morning Show was there to support one of the bachelorettes her close friend, Leah Weinbaum. Well, Leah's been talking about this for quite a while now, and she told me if I didn't come, then she would kill me. So, also it's for a good cause, the Humane Society, and who Leah really supports. So, this is Leah Weinbaum, and she's going to be a wonderful bachelorette this evening, who I'm very excited about, and I had to come support my best friend. 
Well, see, there was a little confusion on what was a silent auction item and what was actually a date package. So I just went to some of my clients and some of my close friends and said, hey, this is for a good cause. And I ended up raising about $1,400. But it's all for charity. It's all for the Tampa Bay Humane Society, and we're happy to do it. All the bachelors and bachelorettes that we talked to were all committed to being a good sport to help raise money. I'm going to be personally giving out a, a color and cut for uh, my date, first of all. We got, I'm going to make her hair silky smooth, and then I'm going to take her out on a date. I cannot wait. Well, there's like so many beautiful women in Tampa, so I figured, hey, they would all come out and you know support the Humane Society. So you have beautiful women, Humane Society. What a better cause, and what a good time. Well, the opportunity to, to be a part of a good cause, a good charity, raising money, meeting some good people, and having a lot of fun. I was happy that she decided to step up and make a contribution for a good cause. And going out with me, it's just a bought product. Now, one of the lighter moments was when Bachelor Nick Friedman offered to take his shirt off for the right bid. Yeah, he did cause a frenzy among a few of the women bidders. You could say they started to get a little crazy. Well, it started off a little bit slowly, and, uh, you know, I was kind of late in the order. So I thought, you know, all the people that were bidding might have already been done, so I figured we had to get it uh get it going, get a little action going, get a little uh, energy in the room, and I think it worked out pretty well. I'm a sucker for charity, and I just want a meeting with him. I don't really want a date with him. I just want a meeting with him. I'm a married woman, so. I was on the season premiere on uh, Bravo's Millionaire Matchmaker. We went on there uh, after having appeared on a show on ABC, and I kind of just went along for the ride. My business partner was really looking for a true love, and I figured I'd go and, and, and uh, see how it went. But I actually met somebody on that uh, show that I ended up dating for a little while, and no longer, but uh, it, it was quite an experience. Wow, we had a lot of fun tonight. And from the looks of things, these bachelors and bachelorettes, they're going to have a lot of fun on some of these dates. Thank you, everybody. This is a wonderful event, and it couldn't have happened without you. For more information, you can email Linda Conley at Linda underscore CNLY at Yahoo.com. That's Linda underscore CNLY at Yahoo.com. We like we watching Good Life Tampa Bay. Hi, I'm Eric Brown, and I like watching Good Life Tampa Bay. I'm Jen Grayson, and I love watching Good Life Tampa Bay. Hey, we've run out of time. I hope you've enjoyed the show as much as we've enjoyed producing it for you. I want to thank everybody that we met during our shoots. And of course, I also want to thank our sponsors, the Golden Diamond Source and also the Home Theater Gallery. Most of all, I want to thank you at home for watching the show. For Good Life Tampa Bay, I'm H. John Mejia, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. Tonight it was all about making a difference hands across America, and I am like so clueless right now. Blooper Village. So talk about what's new and exciting in your life. What's going on these days? Oh gosh, I've got that uh, new pay-per-view website. Yeah, there's not much in the way of wardrobe, but you know, in this economy, everything's a profit center. Good life, Tampa Bay. Huh? Let me try it out. My name is Maria McGill, and I love watching a good time of Tampa Bay. Oh, sorry. My kids were never raised in a household without a pet. That's important. There, there you have it. Tammy loves pets, whips, whips men. Okay. Yeah, I don't whip pets, just men.